Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Zopo today. We're going to be meeting the Juan League. Okay, so here we are, uh, once again, this time with the Desert Eagle. Sorry, I haven't been posting in a while. I'm working on something a little bit special uh, for you guys. So, we're going to be going on to the spray control, as per usual. Uh, well, let's kind of go everywhere. Uh, the first shot is obviously accurate. The second shot kind of fails, so it just goes again wherever it wants to. To control it, you literally, the only thing that you can do is just tap it occasionally. You can tap it fairly quickly, and it won't lose too much accuracy, but to really, you know, control it, make sure that if you look at the gun model, um, you should see, you should shoot when the gun actually starts falling back down. This gun, a bit like the CZ, is actually very quirky, and it has a lot of advantages and a lot of disadvantages. So the advantages are in, fa are in fact that it's got extremely high damage. It is one of the only guns uh, that you can shoot a really long, long distance away and still score a headshot, one kill, on an armoured opponent. Uh, another thing is that it's got extremely high accuracy. So say, for instance, if we aim... Uh, let's just aim at one spot and then just shoot. There we go, five rounds should do it. All the bullets go really, really, really exactly where you want them to. Uh, another thing is that it's got extremely high penetration damage. So, uh, sorry for the jump cut by the way, I had to actually look this up. Uh, if we have a look here, uh, we can actually see that the damage applied is 56% only through the door, which means that it were, it ha were you to shoot through the wall, through the door, um, it would still be able to do quite a decent bit of damage. And another thing, you can actually view this command yourself and practice around uh, different things uh, by typing in SV underscore show impact underscore penetration 1. However, the Deagle Beagle Desert Eagle does have quite a few disadvantages. The one thing is that you'll notice that it has a really small magazine size, especially when compared to the other guns. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it has the smallest magazine. Yeah, it has got the smallest magazine size out of all the pistols in the game. Another thing is that it's got extremely high recoil, as I showed you earlier. The bullets just go absolutely everywhere. And uh, another thing is that it's really expensive. It costs $700, which... In pistol round, one thing, uh, I'll go on to that later, but you probably shouldn't buy it because, you know, armor is a little bit more important. But $700 could set you back, you know, that is almost a full set of grenades. This brings us very smoothly on to how to use it. So, the first thing that you've got to do is make sure you have good aim. Uh, some of the maps that you can actually practice your aim really well on are... Uh, training bot aim v4b very very good uh, against moving targets a little bit more you know sort of humanoid targets uh, this is really good for setting up you know doors you can set up a door you can set up walls and uh, you can set up anything to make it seem like say for instance cap from dust to etc and another thing that i use is also training underscore aim underscore cs go to this is a little bit more linear uh, a little bit less sort of human moving target-ish, but it's also very, very good because you can personalise uh, exactly how the targets move, you know, where they move about, uh, and the size of them as well. Uh, it's very, very useful. Okay, so I actually hopped onto bot aim v4b uh, to show you how important aiming for the head is with this gun. So, say for instance this gun, this guy will shoot me. Um, if I shoot him there, I'm going to wait for the gun to reset, which means that I could take quite an upper bit of damage if he wasn't using uh, you know, a shitty weapon like a Glock. So, aiming for the head is important because you just take them out, you know, and uh, even though the gun has quite high damage drop off, so at a distance uh, body shots might take uh, two or three hits, as you can tell here, uh, aiming for the head will pretty much always guarantee you a whole one dig kill. And this actually moves me on quite well onto the fact that it's got very, very bad spray. So even if you do miss, just wait for the aim to reset because if you just drop away. So that was really bad. Uh, because if you just shoot another round just after you shot, see, that's not going to And you waste quite a bit of ammo doing that. Oh my god. Okay, so after you learned how to aim, uh, which is something that I still have yet to do, 
uh, you've got to make sure that you know where to use it. So, um, for instance, a really good place to use it would be in pit, looking down just to, you know, just off the run tapping uh, another, uh, you know, another enemy. But you also got to know the weapons in which the gun's really useful. So, say for instance, we take this UMP45 here. Uh, this gun actually works really well with it because the UMP obviously is a close quarter to medium range kind of weapon. So you could, for instance, shoot down people at a close range and say, for instance, you come out of long doors, you can switch to your Juan D and take out, say, for instance, if there's an AWPA playing there. Uh, one thing that you probably shouldn't couple this weapon with would be an AWP because obviously the AWP is a long range weapon. So say for instance you're peeking down long as you would be and an enemy comes out of long doors you're probably going to be forced to engage either with an AWP which again might be quite risky because just like the Deagle it takes quite a long time for a shot to reset or you will be forced to use a Deagle and if you don't land that first shot well congratulations you're out of luck because you have to wait a little bit of time for the shot to reset in which case the guy could just spray you down with a P90 with a UMP or whatever he has in his hand. So make sure you know that you use close to medium range weapons. You don't want to use a completely close range weapon because say for instance you've got a sword off which you probably shouldn't be using anyway but say for instance you've got a sword off and you're playing around here and there's an enemy kind of over there. The deagle is, well, the deagle is quite a good distance but say for instance you're at this kind of distance you're probably not going to want to engage with a sword off because it's going to take quite a few shots and a deagle is a little bit too close uh, for you to, you know, micro-correct your aim, say for instance, if they move about. Okay, so that pretty much r wraps up this uh, weapon guide. Make sure you know uh, how to aim, uh, you know, make sure you practice quite well with this gun because you kind of have to get a feel for when to uh, shoot the second round because it's not... It's not as fast as you think it would take, and it's also not quite as slow. So make sure you know, you know when to use it. Just practice uh, a couple of times, maybe on DM, uh, maybe on the maps that I told you to. The download workshop uh, links will be in the description, as will be most of the information. Thank you very, very much for watching. I've been the Zorpa, and I hope to see you right back here sometime soon.